it is me and my tea again. And today I'm very excited because I opened the door to the front porch and a wonderful smell appeared. Yes, my lush, lush kitchen has just arrived in its new and improved um, format, which I will tell you about in a little bit. But first, with our trusty pocket knife, let us get into it. So if you're unfamiliar with the Lush Kitchen Box, it is a monthly um, bath and body subscription box. And every month you can get some fabulous exclusive items. Some will be only available through the Lush Kitchen. Some are items that they're like kind of testing the waters to see if we enjoy and if they'll be in regular stores. And this month's theme, oh, oh, no spoilers, gotta put those away, is so apropos because it is themed after the dragon so this is um, mystical treasures and since February is the um, start of the lunar new year it was themed after kind of like dragon vibes ignite your inner dragon I absolutely love that um, there's a little QR code if you want to check out these products and it says this year of the dragon let sparks fly with legendary sense to awaken your most powerful, bold, and authentic self. Take on the year with fearless fervor and a fiery range of bath and shower treasures bursting with spice, citrus, and earthy enchantment. Woo! How fun. Okay, I'm going to sit that right there. I see our lovely packing of peanuts in here. So what the Lush Kitchen used to do is every month at the beginning of the month, you would vote for different items to be in the following. So if it was the Christmas box, you would be voting for items at the beginning of November. So they have done away with that. Instead, they um, it is now a curated box. And at the beginning of the month, they will show you sneak peeks of what's going to be in the box. So you can decide if you want to purchase it or if you want to skip that box. And I definitely did not want to skip this one because I love spicy scents and some of the items in here are my absolute favorite things. Like, for instance, <gasps> I'm so happy, the Fireball Bath Bomb, which if I remember right was Lush Christmas three years ago, I think. And I still have two left from that Boxing Day. I think the video is up there somewhere, but is just such a spicy, warm, fiery bath bomb. I wish they would bring this back maybe like in the summer. That would be kind of cool, like something hot for the summer or for the winter. I don't care. I love the scent so much. Um, the scent is almond essential oil, Brazilian orange oil, cinnamon leaf oil, and that cinnamon leaf comes through so well. I just love this bath bomb so much. Okay, next... I am so, <gasps> yes, we have a full size bottle, not a tiny little three ounce bottle or 100 gram. We have a 250 mil of Cinder. <coughs> so Cinder's is another lush Christmas, I think. What's the last time we had it? 2022, 2021? Comment down below, um, fellow Lushies, when the last time cinders was in the christmas range um again i love it it is ignite your morning routine with fiery cinnamon nutmeg and ginger plus pumpkin seed oil to soften and hydrate the skin and we're going to take a quick little looky loo under the sticker because if you get anything that has the little made by this person sticker um, underneath will be a little secret bonus word which is really fun and it usually ties in with the name of the product Oh, and the little secret word is, it's lit. That's funny. I love it. Um, and I absolutely love cinders. So we're going to put lovely cinders right there. And also sometimes in the Lush Kitchen boxes, they will also have um, extra bonus goodies. So sometimes it might be a pin or a tote bag or just something extra special. <gasps> Now these, I have not seen in quite some time, It where you were able to buy it in the store. I think the last time I saw them was a Lush UK 
exclusive to purchase and I have had it in a lush um, kitchen box before and it is the bath oil like little ornaments and this one is stunning oh it has kind of like a little paisley design on it Ooh, oh this smells really familiar Ooh, what is that so dragon's temple bath oil and it is do 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 maru maru butter shea butter sunflower wax oh so it's lime oil black pepper oil fur needle absolute is this santa's like oh there was like something that kind of smelled like coca-cola and it had lime and black pepper oh the lip scrub um santa's oh shoot again fellow lushies the one santa's something red lip scrub kind of tasted like coca-cola but th this kind of reminds me of that. Ooh, I love that. And I am almost tempted to just hang it somewhere where it's not going to get warm and melt everywhere because it smells divine and it looks fantastic. Okay, I'm gonna, actually, I'm gonna set it back on its little bag so it doesn't get red everywhere. Next. <gasps> Ooh. <gasps> oh my gosh, we are gorgeous. I think this is the soap and I think it is karma scented so um, karma is like one of their real staple um, scents that people absolutely love it's kind of like think kind of a hippie kind of scent because it is um, pine resin and patchouli so very earthy very earth mother but oh my gosh we are stunning we are giving good fortune wealth happy vibes and oh the beautiful scent of karma mm, i know my mom will absolutely love this little guy but he's almost too cute to use because this is a little hand soap oh i'm loving him so much oh, stunning fabulous 10 out of 10 would recommend and then it looks like our next item Oh wow, I'm going to be shiny touching this. It is a reusable bubble bar and it is called Dragon Legend. And it is, let's see, ooh, it smells, ooh, I just got right up my nose. My nose is all glittery now. <laughs> it is Jasmine Absolute Ylang Ylang and Dragon Fruit Powder. Ooh, cool. But definitely, oh shoot. There's something else that's jasmine and ylang ylang. This smells really similar to it. I was actually expecting this to be spicy, but the jasmine is really lovely. And look at that shimmer. Uh, and I'm definitely gonna be like a James Bond film. I am Goldfinger. Ooh, maybe I'll do a little little dragony highlight. What do you think? Yes? No? Okay. Oh, that smells fantastic. That's going to make a fantastic bubbly bath. Um, let's see, is there anything else in here? Any little extra goodies? We had five items. Let's see. I do not see anything, so we all know what that means. <gasps> yep, we knew it was coming. Right on the head. Ooh, I just knocked my lights. Ooh, alrighty then. So, what do we think? Um, I am absolutely loving the fireball oh, I love this scent so much I'm happy to have a full-size shower gel it seems like they were doing a lot of the little ones for several months in a row really and I'm kind of liking this format better than um, the votes with the votes I almost wondered if they already knew what they were gonna put in their boxes and it kind of just gave the illusion of choice and with this you know we know that it's that's already gonna be in there It'll make it really nice, especially if you don't like certain scents, if you want to skip the box. So I do like that. I miss the fun of voting, but I really appreciate knowing and knowing if I want to skip like I did for January's box. And I'm definitely going to get March's box because it looks very woodsy and fantastic scents and very almost like St. Patrick's-y kind of vibes. So I'm super excited for that. Mmm. Yes, yes, indeed. 
Well, everybody, I hope you have enjoyed this Year of the Dragon Lush unboxing. Please do comment down below what your favorite item was. I think this was a very, very well put together and cohesive box. Everything complemented each other and it went with the theme very, very well. So 10 out of 10 Lush, you did a chef's kiss fantastic job on this box. So that being said, thank you very much everybody for watching. If you're interested in checking out another video, you can click right here. And if you're new, welcome to my channel and go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there so that you never miss a single video ever again. And if you're interested in supporting my channel, there is a link down below to join my channel membership and help support my shenanigans here on this channel. So that being said, thank you very much everybody for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!